Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, September the 1st. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Quick look at the temperature trace from my weather station yesterday. Got a very nice uh, shower around uh, 3 to 4 o'clock that dropped the temperature on the order of about uh, 20 degrees, uh, cooling things off nicely. Of course, raised the humidity as well. This morning, though, no showers in the immediate central Alabama area as we look down the spine of the Appalachians from Mount Cheeha on a nice a clear morning. And we can see a little bit of fog in the valley there from the Trustville Sky Cam as the sun is rising. Certainly a beautiful shot this morning. High pressure over the Gulf is holding its own over the southeastern United States at the surface. But in the meantime, we're still dealing with this upper ridge off to our west that is slowly kind of... Uh, uh, edging off to the west as we develop a trough over the eastern part of the country. Temperatures this morning once again in the lower 70s across central Alabama as we expected to see temperatures rise into the lower and mid-90s once again. QPF indicating that uh, much of the rain will be in the eastern part of the country ahead of a that developing upper low as well as a weak frontal system that will be moving through the area uh, in the Tuesday time frame primarily. Slight risk of severe storms possible uh, over the central U.S. Uh, focused primarily on southern Illinois, uh, in encompassing areas just to the south of Chicago down towards St. Louis uh, and uh, approaching Paducah. Day two, there's no specific slight risk area, but uh, uh, C-Text is noted for northern Mississippi, and that's because of the pretty good heating as well as the approach of the weak frontal system. And of course, on day three, we see that uh, the risk of showers and thunderstorms is moved uh, pretty much to the south as we're expecting that front to dry the atmosphere out somewhat. Tropics remain somewhat active, uh, you know, rel actually maybe relatively quiet would be a better term here. Uh, we're still dealing with those two areas, one approaching the Lesser Antilles and one uh, just off the African coast, neither of which is likely to develop anything in the next several days. We do see a few showers on radar this morning over the northeast part of uh, the state, and we have been watching a large cluster up over Kentucky, but I think that will stay uh, to the east of us. The morning 06 EGFS model run, and uh, there comes our front uh, coming down through the Ohio River Valley. And, uh, of course, we're in a, a fairly soupy atmosphere with pretty good moisture as precipitable water values remain above uh, about one and three-quarter inches across our area. The trough begins to dig in as we see a nice closed low moving across south uh, the southern uh, tier of Canada across the, the Great Lakes area. And, of course, as to say, that front will drop into the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys on Monday. And so I think we should see um, a fairly good supply of showers um, on, on Monday. Tuesday, uh, the trough sharpens up nicely over the eastern half of the country, and so that should push most of the showers and the, the uh, more intense moisture to the south. We can certainly see that on the forecast precipitable waters. You see much drier air uh, basically north of I-20 by midday on Tuesday. Wednesday, the trough is there and the ridge has moved off to our west. And of course, again, I think that keeps the showers pretty much to our south. We see that same pattern on Thursday and then once again on Friday, the showers primarily to our south along the Gulf Coast area and South Alabama. Now on Friday, we do note that the precipitable water value is still fairly low over our area. So I think Friday remains uh, probably a dry day. I guess we can't rule out completely an isolated shower, but I think on Saturday, you see the uh, trough is a little bit weaker, and as the trough weakens, I think we uh, see a little bit of a moisture return, and so therefore we get back to uh, some afternoon and early evening showers and thunderstorms, and that continues for the weekend as we head into Sunday, a week from today on September the 8th. Looking out into the future into voodoo country, uh, the GFS is still advertising a nice um, cool down as we see a fairly substantial um, trough moving across the central part of the country, and that should bring us some uh, cooler and drier air once again around the, uh, oh, the 12th or so, and that would be an, 
the first hints at some pretty good fall weather. We do note, again, like the GFS said yesterday, that the ridge comes back. Not as strong as we've seen over the last several days, but the ridge does indeed come back. So we warm back up, probably uh, getting back up into the upper 80s and maybe even uh, perhaps edging into the lower 90s. But we do see another uh, trough coming into the northwestern part of the country, and uh, that trough once again uh, perhaps perf uh, promising some fallish kind of weather. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Sunday. Welcome to September. Uh, James Spann should be back with the next edition tomorrow. I'm not sure if he will be on a one-a-day schedule, it being a Labor Day weekend. And uh, congratulations to the team. Sorry that uh, UAB fell to Troy, but uh, Alabama and Auburn both winning. That was great. My team plays Labor Day evening, so I'll be glued to my tube then. I hope that you have a great day and certainly enjoy this day in God's speed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.